everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back. I recently, well, this was my second time, volunteered at a library a couple counties away for their book sale. I've talked about it before. Um, this time I couldn't stay the whole time. I was able to stay the two days to set up, um, but the rest of the week when they were going to be actually selling, I had a retreat to go to. And um, I, she does allow you to buy a certain number of books every day. So I just wanted to pop in here and show you what I got this time for the time that I was there. Um, I have been really, I don't know, I don't want to say addicted, but I have been really on the hunt and have been fortunate to find all kinds of playing cards. I like using playing cards as a base for things, you know, that go in pockets and tucks and stuff. And sometimes they even have a theme on them that go with what I'm doing. So as you can see, this set of cards was 50 cents. These are not all that glamorous. They're just plain old cards. But again, I can use them for the base to something. Then let's see what these, these two were just like those. But they're 50 cents. Where are you going to get a hundred cardstock type pieces that will only cost you 50 cents so those are the cards i got i'm going to set them to the side here but look at this little book i was lucky enough to get two of them it has great illustrations in it they're all so small that i can just pull out the page and they will be great in a journal again all the information is what's above so it doesn't like go on to another page is what I'm trying to say. Let's see how much did I pay for those? 50 cents. Also 50 cents. So right there I'm up to maybe $2.50 for five different things. Then I saw these. They are so unusual to me. Now granted they may be something you all have seen before. But they were 75 cents. They're on. They've got this little screw attachment through them. But aren't they cool? And then it, the about the flower continues on the back side. So there again, I thought these would be pretty cool on a journal. Of course, they're going to be a mess to straighten back up. But um, I thought they would be cool also. And then here's one. That one is wildflowers and this one is trees. I'm going to assume that there's a lot of different variety of these. But that's what the book sale had. So 75 cents for each of them. So let's put that to the side. The other thing that I got were some Spanish grammar and vocabulary cards. 50 cents and a dollar. And look at these, how many are in here. And look at the colors. So some of them I won't even probably have to coffee or tea stain, you know, or do any kind of foofing to them. They'll already be done. So I thought that was a good little deal. And then I got a bunch of just regular old books to tear up because look at that paper. It is beautiful, and it's not fragile yet. And then let's look at this one. Same thing. This is a little bit lighter, but I liked the fonts in them, so they will be good for collaging and decoupaging and whatever. Then I've kind of been on a hunt, too, for books that are landscape style. And look at these pictures. So I'm hoping, I think I checked this out, I think there are signatures in these that I can just take apart and be able to have the whole picture so that was some and then i'm kind of run out of space let me shuffle things around here hold on and then here's some more books that i did and um let's see what was oh the, yeah this one is some kind of language i want to say um iranian or something i'm not exactly sure i don't remember and if I look in the book, it's probably not going to tell me in a language that I can understand. So let me just move on. And then here we go with this one. And again, it is some kind of cool writing, I thought. And I don't even know if I'm doing the pages upside down or right side up. Oh, I just don't know. <laughs> but um, anyhow, those are books I got just to tear up. This might be another one here. Let's see. Yeah, this one was about sewing. So I thought if I ever did a sewing journal that that one would come in handy. And then just down to two more. 
this one I thought was really cool the paper I mean look at that so I thought this one would be good it's also in another language and this one would be good again for a larger um, journal or to use in collage because of the way the pictures were and then this one I hope this fits on camera let me get this other stuff out of the way this is a big mamma jamma but let's see if I can do this look at this you're not gonna be able to see now that would be massive to fussy cut but aren't they beautiful and every page or every other is like that the description is over here and the the flower is over here or should I say the rose I think this is a whole book of roses but look at that isn't it great so I figured that will definitely fit on a whole page where I can just glue it onto a page add some texture to it maybe so that was all that I got this time. I didn't get a whole lot because, like I said, I was only there the two days and you're only allowed a certain number. But I did want to share them with you. I have shared with you my finds from before and some of you have gone out to see if you can find them for yourselves. Um, but anyway, that's that. And I just wanted to remind you that I do my best to do a video every Tuesday evening, um, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can find me on Facebook in a page in my group in my personal one. I have an Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Um, I even just joined TikTok. Haven't done anything yet, but stay tuned. And also, I do have a small Etsy shop with a few goodies in there. So I appreciate you coming by. And uh, guess what? I'll see you down the road. I appreciate you coming. Bye.